Welcome back to another Moon Monkey Trades video. This is part two of the basics of candlestick charting. In part one, we talked about the real bodies of the candles, what the different sizes mean, what the different colors mean, what the wicks are, that sort of thing. If you haven't seen the video, go back and check it out. If you've already seen it, welcome back to part two. If you're new to my channel, my name's Chase, and this is Moon Monkey Trades, and we're about to jump straight into this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for your chance to win a free pair of AirPod Pros. The first candles we're going to be talking about are the doji candle. This right here is what we call the long-legged doji. It's basically when the real body is pretty much in the middle of the wick. So we end up having a long wick at the top and a long wick at the bottom, and that's how you can pretty much identify a doji. And then you have this really, really small real body right here. Now what the top of the wick is, this is the high of the day. So at some point we reached up and traded somewhere up in this price area during the day. And we also went down and traded somewhere at the low of the day, creating the bottom of the wick. But we actually opened and closed within this green area, a very small movement in price creating this doji. What this means the trend here is getting weak and may pull back or completely reverse and people are really indecisive of which direction the stock is going to keep going where the bulls are going to continue to push the stock higher or the bears will take control the second type of doji we have is the dragonfly doji the dragonfly doji for example right here is when the real body is at the top of the wick but you can still identify it because you have this huge long bottom wick here and that's how you would identify a dragonfly doji but just like the other candle we have the high of the day at the top of the wick We have the low of the day at the bottom of the wick. And because it's red, the open is at the top of the real body and the close is at the bottom of the real body. What you don't want to do is confuse this long-legged doji with another candle right here that would be completely different here. How you can tell is this real body is a little bit too big to be considered a doji candle. Tombstone Doji, this is just the opposite of the Dragonfly Doji. When the open and close is at the bottom of the of the wick here, creating the Tombstone Doji. So we here we have the low of the day, a trade here at the high of the day, and then of course the open just here at the top of the real body and the close, creating this little small price movement here making the doji as people are unsure whether this downtrend is going to continue or the bulls can are going to take off as you see here we've got a little bit of a pop but it continued to the downside spinning top and most of these candles it doesn't matter whether it's red or green um, it's still considered a doji or a spinning top you can see why it's called a spinning top because it kind of looks like you'd set it on a table and spin it like you would like an old school top and here all this is it's we just have a bigger real body so here would be the open because it's red so the open would be at the top and the close would be at the bottom and then here at the top of the wick we have the high of the day the bottom of the wick we have the low of the day and like I said you can typically find these at reversals or pullbacks this is not something to go off to base the trade off you need confirmation to determine that you have a reversal or a pullback but you will typically see like i said spinning tops at tops and bottoms of trends next candle we're going to be talking about is the hammer candle right here in the middle of my screen you can see a hammer and it looks just like a hammer you typically see these these are these are you'll see these at the tops and bottoms of trends but they're more significant when they're at the top of a trend for a reversal and how you identify this is you have a you know small real body but it's bigger than a doji you have the long wick at the bottom and it and it looks just like a hammer and you can see here we have the low of the day for the bottom of the wick the high just like all the other candles and the real body this will be the open the bottom of the candle and the top of the real body will be the close and that is a hammer you'll see these a lot um, especially at the top and bottom of trends another ha hammer here at the bottom the color of the hammer is not significant it's the inverted hammer this is basically a hammer 
that is upside down. This is a very, very strong indicator, especially at the bottom or in consolidation. As you can see here, we got this big hammer and then we continue to the upside. Inverted hammers are very, very, very good thing to look out for at the bottom of a trend. And when the hammer, inverted hammer, is at the top of the trend, it is called a shooting star. And I'll show you an example of that really quick. So this is a shooting star. A shooting star is, like I said, is an inverted, inverted hammer at the top of a trend. That pretty much sums it up. That's some of the basic candles um, for, you know, beginners in stock trading. You don't... It's super important that you just understand the names and the terminology before you get into charting. And I'll continue to progress these videos and, and slowly get more advanced and get into charting and how you can use these different candles in your charting and your technical analysis.